Um, I hit the button. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> like I just hit the button. I mean, I know they didn't make. I know I just hit the button, but wow. <laughs> This is diff. Okay, hold on, hold on. Nest the God. What's happening everybody? It is your boy Kendall Sean back here with Blue Oval Media. And today I got a 2021 Power Boost F-150 that I want to reveal to you all. And let me tell you like this, I have already driven it <laughs> and I am amazed at some of the things that it can do. But let me just give you an over overview of the vehicle real quick, show you some of the stuff on the inside and then we'll take a ride around. So once again, the good folks at Sutton Ford in Madison, Illinois, have given me another vehicle to actually test out. And that is where Bleed Ford Blue Fest 2021 will take place on June 19th. More information to come on blueovermedia.com, which will be ready by February 1. And so um, one of the things about this one is that this time they gave me a Lariat. You know, the first video that you all saw me do, um, they gave me an XLT, but now today I have the Lariat. And man, <sighs> leather seats. I, this is, you know, no no offense to the XLT, but this one is much better. So let me just kind of show you all some of the features right now. So you all know this is probably one of my favorite features right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my wife would love that right there, but obviously, you know, standard size bed. And what I love about this is that it's so light. You literally see me push it up with one hand and this one is very clean very nice very nice uh with the wheel package and everything but like i was telling you all before it is the power boost package which is the hybrid package so it's you know motor hybrid and all that good stuff and man this thing it's pretty it's pretty pretty amazing um i've had it for uh, good folks at Sutton Ford allow me to keep it for a couple of days and some of the things that it just does like when I walk up to it It recognizes that key so it will <laughs> it knows that I'm around so it turns everything all the lights and stuff on for you that Another thing that it did um, I had remote started it the other day and uh, you know it ran for like 10 minutes Then you know kind of shut itself off then when I got back up to the car It started itself back up because it knew I was by the car I mean, those, those are some amazing, amazing features um, that I think that Ford did very well on. And the ride of this thing really feels like a luxury truck. I mean, it's, you know, it's just quite amazing with me having a Harley Davidson F-150 2012 and then going over to these brand new um, F-150s. I think that, you know, Ford has done an amazing job with it. Let me show you the engine bay real quick. All this amazingness. It's pretty. It, this is pretty. And you know, the thing about the power boost is, and the thing I think that shocked me uh, the most was the simple fact that I didn't know if it was going to have the power. You know, because it's hybrid or whatever, I didn't know, I didn't know if it was gonna have the problem, but this thing shocked me. It is so quick. And I have a 6.2 and I believe that this one is quicker than my 6.2 and that could be because of weight or more torque I don't know but this thing is quicker than my truck I mean this display this digital screen is amazing and then you have this big wide screen right here that Bluetooth's Apple CarPlay and I feel like that is just a major a major plus and <laughs> You know, one of the one of the things that that like shocks me is like when you just starting this thing up. Like, so look, you see the hand here, and and so like you know, a lot of times when it's not when it's fully warmed up and everything, whatever, when it's in hybrid mode, I didn't know that the, the truck was on. <laughs> I had pressed the button several times. I'm like, oh, but when you actually look at the screen, it says ready right there uh, in the corner. Um, and I don't know if the camera's gonna focus good on that But anyway, 
it tells you uh, it tells you that the truck is ready or you know it, it lets you it lets you know it's very well informed and so it has heated and cooled seats amazing obviously um two high four high um four wheel drive and all that good stuff so another thing that i think is cool and some of you all may not appreciate it but it'll tell you the speed limit wherever you are and it'll tell you if you're actually going over it or not now that that can help because you may not know the speed limit in the area or you didn't see the sign was posted that that can help another thing too is that because it's a hybrid when you're driving the rpm you could do 30 miles per hour and it'll say zero rpm and i thought that that was amazing it's kind of hard for me to show you all that while driving but i did want to bring that up so when i say that this vehicle can do some awesome things like i can't believe that it can do this stuff like <laughs> I'm like, wow, this vehicle does what? It has an amazing sound system. I mean, obviously you won't be able to hear it with me playing it now, but it has an amazing sound system. You see that panoramic roof. Um, this is uh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you all. Like I am going to, I am, I have to return this today and I'm feeling very sad about that. Never before in my life have I ever felt sad um, about giving anything back. But this was one of those times where I actually don't wanna go <laughs> and give this back to them. But obviously one of you, one of you all are going to be able to uh, go ahead and get this uh, vehicle. So, so with this hybrid power boost, like I just hit the button and didn't even know the car was there going on. Like I said, I'm not used to hybrids and all that stuff. So this is very different, but I think it's amazing. Now I'm going to show you all the mileage because I'm about to take a 45 mile trip to work. So I want to show you all the mileage and I want to show you what the car does when you cut it off so I can show you all the miles per gallon. And then we'll kind of talk through the whole video um, as I tell you all on the GoPro how everything feels. So let me show you this mileage real quick. So right now, if you can see, let the camera focus. So right there, it says 78.9 miles, okay? I'm about to show you, and you, you see with the gas, it says 468 miles to eat. And then I'm gonna show you everything else. So stay tuned. So let, let me tell you all a few things that I am just thoroughly impressed with this vehicle. Now for you all that have newer cars and newer luxury cars, a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna talk about is nothing to you. Like you're gonna be like, oh my God, that's so 1988. Okay, fine. You can go to the next video. But for us who have not necessarily had the newest uh, vehicles with the most modern technology, I, I feel like um, what's happening with this truck is amazing. Now, if you all remember, I did do the review um, and I had an L XLT um, about a few weeks ago. And now with this uh, Lariat, that's a 2021 Lariat, I'm gonna give you all straight up. This thing, when I took, when I got it from Sutton Ford, I felt like this was faster than the uh, the XLT. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but it was it was definitely quick. The other thing that I loved about this one is that it does a few things that the the other one didn't do. And so, number thing number one, when I remote started it uh, this morning, I had to go to the gym. After 10 minutes, you know, it cut off. But then I walked back up to the car, it recognized the key and it cut itself back on. I thought that was amazing. <laughs> I just really thought that was amazing. It was an, uh, it was an amazing uh, experience. Then I get in the car. Now it's about 30 degrees out here in Illinois and I'm getting in the car and I'm driving. The next thing I know, uh, my cold hands are becoming warm <laughs> and it's because the steering wheel is heated. And I was like, yo, that's that's amazing. Now it already has heated and cooled seats and it actually heats the seats up, you know, during the uh, remote start and everything. But having this uh, heated steering wheel was just very rewarding for somebody like me, especially for any of us that live out um, in the Midwest. So you live out in somewhere that's very cold. A lot of you all that live in the South and in warmer climates, that may not mean anything to you. But for us that live out here, we're dealing with 20 degree 10 degree weather like i really do appreciate that the other thing that's very important for me is that the cabin and the sound quality of what you don't hear outside if that makes sense so 
you know i have an f-150 so you know you all i love f-150 so you always going to see me mustangs f-150s that you're going to see a lot of that on these channels and I, you know, I have a Harley Davidson F-150 2012. Now, obviously, it's a 2012, so that makes it pretty much almost 10 years old. And um, you know, the, the 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 difference between that truck and this is just night and day. The ride quality on here um, is just like so clean. It really feels like I'm driving a luxury car more than I am a pickup truck. Um, and just all of the options that are that are on here, uh, the wide screen like nothing makes me more happier than this widescreen so for you all i am a big um apple carplay i love apple carplay i've been using apple carplay for about three years now i even have it in my uh notch back like i put an aftermarket radio in there to make sure that i had apple carplay so that when google maps comes up i wanted to see it on the screen what this uh what this does is that it'll bluetooth apple carplay for you so i don't have to actually plug it in even though I like to keep my stuff charged, I don't have to plug it in for actual Google Maps, iTunes, or anything to actually show up on the screen. That's big for me. So I, I'm a big, you know, for you Android guys, whatever. But for us Apple guys, like Apple guys and girls, that's this is uh, that's big for me. And so, for even for me to do this video, I mean, you you can hear me very clearly um, doing this. And so, I'm very I'm very I'm very pleased with this. I love the interior in here more than the xlt but obviously you know this is uh this is hilarious so you know it has the two-tone uh with you know it's pretty much black leather with kind of like a brown bron brownish uh bronzish sorry brown bronzish uh look um the piping is nice it's just real clean like i love the uh i love the two-tone what what i feel like ford did a good job is that they made sure it was clean and not too busy and it's got like this stainless steel type of look on a dash which i will show you right here digital um dashboard is amazing and another thing too like it kind of was throwing me off um you know at certain points of when i was driving the rpm would be at zero but i'm driving i'm like but it's that hybrid it's like you taking getting used to a hybrid it's when the car is running off electric and when it's running off of uh you know the actual gas motor and all that so um and with everything that this car does, it still has the capacity to tow very well. And I'm gonna be honest, like, so what happened with me with this car, this truck convinced me that, man, you know, as, as much as I love coyotes, I'm a coyote fanatic. I love coyotes. I know people think I don't, but I love coyotes, especially in F-150s and things of that nature. But for a vehicle that I'm driving every day and I'm not going to uh, race, you know, this is something that the wife and I can go out in um, and, I can put the, the 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 Mustang on the trailer, go to shows, and be comfortable taking trips. Um, and it feels like I'm driving a luxury car. Like I I really appreciate that Ford went all the way out um, to to do that. And so there are still. And then you know I only get the car. Now shout out to Sutton Ford. They allow me to keep it. You know they ask me how long do I want it for. And so. Um, they allow me to keep this one longer because of the hybrid because i want to show you all what this car can do as it relates to the uh gas mileage and then how when you actually get to your destination to cut the car off it's going to tell you this was the gas mileage this is what this is how long your trip was etc i that's just amazing like for, for the car to give you a report when you're cutting it off and it tells you this is the miles per gallon that you you got along with this is how many electric miles that you used and so uh, once again shout out to the world famous Sutton Ford uh, for allowing me um, to do this and to do this portion of it I just want you all to see uh, my reaction because technically this will be the first time that um, even though I merged on the expressway before the last time I merged on the expressway I didn't necessarily hit 
um, passing year and to see um, how well obviously this has a I believe it has a 10 R80 in it um, it's a 10 speed so I just want to you know it's a dry road I'm not gonna go over the speed limit but I just want to see how well um, it's going to merge onto the expressway obviously I'm going from zero miles per hour because I'm at this like this is always a perfect example I'm going from zero and then by the time I get on this ramp I'll probably be at 20 and this this expressway is already going 65 70 and so just want to kind of see um, what it's gonna do um, when I actually merge down on here so let's uh let's see what this thing got all right here we go Literally went down the ramp and was able to get merge on at the speed limit within like a couple of seconds. Yeah, the 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 pull that this has, I'm, I'm surprised. I mean, I know the, these F-150s have lighter bodies, but I am am thoroughly surprised at how quickly I was able to get up to um, the speed of the expressway legally and how quickly this thing was able to maneuver. And as it relates to, you know, moving left and right and lanes and all that, I mean, this this, this is very tight. This, this truck is very tight. I love it. Like I love um, that it doesn't have uh, loose steering, but then it's still comfortable as well. So let me make that clear. It's tight, but it's comfortable. It's not so tight, like you can't. No, it's very tight, it's very comfortable. Like, um, yeah, you, it, it's real, real, real nice and so i'm um thoroughly pleased at the amount of torque uh that this thing has uh, especially with getting on um, this expressway so if you wanted to know that it's definitely recommended for this even as it being a hybrid um it's definitely recommended so. all right so we have officially ended the trip and uh Man, it said 38. Nah, the camera doesn't want to focus. Oh, geez. <laughs> Bottom line, it just said 38 total miles, and it got about 18, 17.7 miles to the gallon. So I thought that was pretty cool. The camera didn't focus, and you only got a little bit of time to catch it. So it is what it is. So like I said, if you're looking to get an amazing vehicle like this, make sure you reach out to the good folks at Sutton Ford. Tell them you want the Blue Oval Media discount. Tell them I sent you. Um, they know me up there. <laughs> and so... Um, tell them I sent you and uh, man, we want to keep doing these reviews. Uh, the Maki is coming out soon They're gonna give me that uh, Some other stuff uh, when that when it comes out they're gonna give it to me and um, man I want to put it on this channel for you all so one thing I like about them and I want the owner does is uh, the owner has made it clear to me like we don't believe in overcharging people and so man shout out to the good folks at Sutton Ford and like I said, we're doing bleed for blue fest there June 19 2021 so if you want to see more content like this, more F-150, more good for content, and you want a Blue Over Media hoodie, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and man, so consider subscribing. I really would appreciate it. It's your boy, Kim Sean with Blue Over Media, and I am out.